Alright, yes sir. Welcome. If you watch this, please subscribe. We need a we need a hundred and sixty. Cause a hundred and sixty subscriber. We reach a thousand so we can live stream. Anyway, now we make one little observation lately since the local election season start and if you all follow Jamaican news and Jamaican politics you should have made this observation also one after the other you see a crackdown from the wanted people and some gangs in Jamaica you see wanted man after wanted man are dead two at a time three at a time some of the most um terrifying people a drop out because the police them pan them neck constantly you see gang have broke up here you see people are infirm from people and things like this you see that the the the, the um the law enforcement in jamaica and the armed forces you see that them have the ability to crack down and get this thing under control however it is during an election season and it was leading it started when it was leading up to this election season now why is that is it they are showing you that they are capable of getting the crime problem in little jamaica under control but they choose not to they choose when to do it they choose when to do it because it is convenient then you see after the election it is going to be an inconvenience again because what they will have to pump money into this and this will free communities this will free poor communities of the crime and violence that is stifling their political awareness now you can disagree with this but this is my opinion it is that it benefits the government to keep this set of people in a state of fear and despair and a kind of a, a, a subjugation where they're using the poverty and the, the, the criminal elements to prevent people from demanding certain things that they should be demanding of politicians because they are living in 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 this um constant fear of something something close to home your life criminals thieves all of these things they do not have time to think about ideology think about political awareness they do not have time to make demands where wealth will have to be shared from the top taken from the top and issued and distributed into these communities that need them the most so anyway in order to go into an election and say look at us fighting crime look how we are saying we we, we, we are doing what we said we are going to do if you want to sleep safe in your yard you cannot vote for the PNP remember Andrew Ones was saying that in the last election if you want to live safe in your yard and what happened since then nothing happened but crime and violence skyrocketed you understand I know that it's coming around to the election season you see them finally putting some some effort into stamping out some of these criminal elements that should have been 
we should have left off the face of the earth a long time. And guess what's not, what is not going to follow up this recent assault on criminals? An assault on the thing that the catalyst that create these criminals, which is what? Poverty, lack, lack of opportunity, lack of jobs. These are the things that create criminal elements in a capitalist society. If you are not going to tackle, tackle the issue of, of poverty, all of this effort will be wasted because guess what? The thing that generates these criminal elements is still there and it will churn out one after the other, after the other, after the other. And guess what you have? When, when the, the security forces go back into the apathetic state, when the, the government pulls the money, when the government, when the, the ruling government doesn't have, is not facing an, an election, all those resources are going to be pulled back. And then the criminal elements rise again and start flourishing in these communities, keeping them in the same state of, of um, what you say, I would say a neutralized state where they cannot elevate in terms of gaining power to affect what happens in the country. So yeah, that's my take on this recent um, crackdown on wanted men and criminals. I am not Ob objecting to it I am supporting it get rid of them but I am just pointing out what are the reasons why you are seeing this surge in assaults against criminals and I am pointing out to you that if this isn't followed, followed up with fixing the, the things that cause these criminal elements to exist in the first place then our little 15 year olds are just going to turn right into those same criminals again so yeah that's my opinion what's it, what is yours oh yeah and subscribe more than anything else you, you don't have to comment you don't even have to like but just um subscribe i need the the the, the ability to live stream so i can so I can have conversations with people instead of just talking to the camera. You get me? Anyway, bless up yourself. Bless up yourself. Oh, and, and also I took a COVID-19 test and I um, it turned up negative. So I'm COVID free people. It, it was, uh, the test was something crazy. They, they put this, push this long stick up in your nose both nostrils one after the other and it, it was the most unfamiliar and uncomfortable feeling i have ever felt but yeah if you can get a, get tested and find out um if you have it or not i'm cleared i'm good to go you know anyway bless up bless up subscribe